Hi, this is Jennifer with Nye House Education Center. I am part of the instructional staff and we are a nonprofit that believes in literacy for all. I'm gonna do a really quick game called Beautiful Music. Luckily for you, I am not singing. I just made this alphabet. If you notice, I put it in groups of two and three and I just want students to be able to read that in those smaller chunks of variation, uh, varying sizes. So students would go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This will eliminate students clumping letters together that they usually would, L, M, N, O, or X, Y, and Z. I would have students that would insert an N because they didn't know it was and. They thought it was the letter N. This gets them away from that. You can do it this way. Another option would be putting it in a, in a different pairing. There's nothing magical about any of these, but it just mixes it up. So they can also say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, and so on and so forth. The last one that I have is I did groups of two and then four. A, B, C, D, E, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You can do it as many different ways as you want. There's nothing magical about those patterns. It's just good alphabet practice without singing it. I strongly encourage you to try it. Again, it's called Beautiful Music. If you're looking for more ideas, please go to nighthouse.org.